Taking a sequence like the wedding is a huge undertaking. And it starts with the concept, what, what, is, uh, what speaks to me about the location, the characters, the elements that are required. Uh, I start putting together a shot list so I know exactly how many pieces that I need or special equipment that I need to tell that story. If it's a crane or, or any type of camera equipment that's specific to pulling off we want, whether it's uh, certain types of lenses, to give uh, the dreamy affect when we kind of go into that dreamy, dreamy moment. So it's kind of lining up all those elements. And it starts with the production designer, Will Hughes-Jones, who's brilliant. And then it goes to Tony Hood with locations. We start thinking about what's, what's of the period, what shows the extravagance. Uh, is it a location that uh, facilitates the needs of the scene? Just because it might be big and beautiful it may not serve the needs of what we're after here. And then, of course, it's working with the costume department. Uh, props department, uh, the writer making sure executing what is right. So all those elements, there's meetings with each of these things to talk explicitly about what we need, what the expectations are, working with the AD, with scheduling it. There's a lot of detailed moments in that thing and that's not something that can be done in one day. We did it over three days. Tom Vericker is an incredibly special man. He's obviously an incredible actor, first and foremost, and has got such a high emotional intelligence, so creates a really positive um, and it's sort of exciting workplace where people can really like take risks. With Tom, what I really feel is a sense of respect, a sense of mutual respect. He really respects me as an actor and knows that I would have come into it with my thoughts and my feelings on it. And he is very receptive to that. It's so important for me to have a set that people feel comfortable, they feel good about what they're doing, they feel encouraged. I respect everybody's department. I encourage input. You know, most importantly, you know, we work, we work long hours and I've been on those sets uh, as an actor that are tense and, and it makes the days go tougher and people are not happy. It's very important for me, whether it's putting on music or singing happy birthday to, to somebody, is, uh, gets them to laugh a little bit, so it shakes it up. And, and I feel it's important for my job as the director and as the leader of, of kind of the production to set that tone and set that pace. got to have a good feeling, a good attitude. People are going to do their best work when they want to do it for you if they feel like they're being scrutinized or uh, if they're being screamed at or, or feeling tense. It does not produce the best work, I don't think. And some people may may oppose that, but I'm of the mindset that, you know, encourage people to do their best work, challenge them. If I'm not getting what I need, I'll challenge them to do their best work, but always be respectful and, and uh, supportive of, of their decisions. What the director does, in this case, our beloved uh, Tom Verica, they are the engine. They drive the scene, they refresh your narratives, they refocus um, your eye for the detail that um, they need to make that visual story sing. But you know, Tom's an actor as well as a director, so he sort of, he's very good at being, um, in the story from both sides of the camera. So it's really helpful for actors. Working with Verica, I've got to say, is one of the greatest things I've ever experienced, ever. He's so respectful, the crew love him, and oh, it's, it's like such a dream to work with. So for me, like I want to give as much respect and time and just listen to the director. There are definitely days when you could come in and feel like you kind of slip into the background, but Tom has this way of making you feel like everything you do is really important. If you can feel like a lull in energy, which obviously we do such long days, that that, that happens, that can happen multiple times throughout the day. Um, and he'll do like a... Everyone will like do the double clap and it just, it, I don't know what it is, but it just makes you go, yeah, we're all together, so let's go, I love this. Then we finally get to the day where we're filming and I'll, I'll usually get there a little bit early and just kind of program everything that I've had, but really kind of take in the environment and what it, uh, what it feels like and just kind of visualize everything because that, that helps with the decision making when things, when we get in the trenches and if we start getting behind, you know, those, I'll know exactly what it is we need to get through a scene or get out of a scene. The director of photography, Jeff Jure, who 
you know, I kind of tell him what I'm starting to think about. We'll kind of exchange and collaborate those ideas uh, about what I desire, how I want this to to look and you know how big we can show this thing and then the the moments that are important about that so it really becomes a layered i, I kind of break it down into into the beats of the scene and what's important to those elements of the scene and how we tell those stories all right ready and playback i make notes editing notes about how i usually want to come in and out of scenes so then it's just working with the editor to sort of get around that idea of of what i had and if they've done something that's that's taken it even further and, and made it even better, I, I embrace that. If I want to try some new things, it's like I know I can put this one in the editor's cut. It might not have been what he was thinking, but at least it's something that he can see. And then, um, you know, when he comes in, he's like, oh, I wasn't thinking that, but I like it. Or we can build upon this and create something new. Um, and it's just, it's just good to have that kind of relationship going in, because sometimes, you know, you'll get the footage and you're like, I know the director wants to do this. I want to try this, but I'm not sure how they will respond. And so I always know Tom's open to doing stuff like that. The first time I watch it is is uh, is tough for me because I become very critical of myself and why didn't I? Oh, I should have moved at this point or I should have. Where's that shot? I thought I got that shot or I should have been closer on this one or it should have been. You know, me and Tom had uh, we had a handful of days working together and just kind of polishing everything. And Tom Love he does a great job of just planning ahead, setting up cool transitions. He did a great job on uh, you know both. Kate and Edwina, their interests coming into uh, the wedding. It's very enjoyable where it gets into getting the picture where you want it to, and then working with sound design to get the, you know, to create the ambiance and the environment that you want, picking, putting the right music to it. Um, so those elements I really, I really dig and I really enjoy kind of shaping that and, and really kind of blossoming it into the, the full uh, essence of what the scene is and, and getting the most out of it. Cut, good, very nice, good.